Hey everyone, I'm Robert from Staking Facilities and in this quick tutorial I would like to run you through the process of how you can stake your atoms, the native token of the Cosmos blockchain, using the Kepler tools, so the Kepler browser extension as well as the Kepler web wallet alongside um, a hardware wallet. We are using a Ledger Nano S. The process, however, works the same if you are using a Ledger Nano X. In case you don't have a hardware wallet, um, we also created a separate tutorial, which I will link down below. However, we always recommend using a hardware wallet if you have one. This video is structured into three parts. The first one is how you can set up your um, Kepler account and connect it with your ledger. The second one is then the real deal, so how you can actually stake your atoms. And the third one is how you can manage your staking operations. So for instance, how you can stake more or how you can stop the staking process. Before you jump into this tutorial, make sure that you have the Kepler browser extension installed. Currently it's available only, I think, for, browse, for Chrome and, and the Brave browser. I will put the links down below as well. And in case you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Shoot us an email or join our Telegram channel. We're always happy to help you out. And now, without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. All right, once you have the Kepler browser extension installed, you can find it on top here in your browser bar. Just click it and then you are presented with some options. Um, you can either sign in with Google, create a new account, import an existing account or import your ledger account. Um, since we assume that you are a first time user and for the sake of this video, we will just go with option number two. And this presents you with a very important screen, namely your mnemonic seed phrase. It's really important that you save this somewhere secure and that you never ever share this with anyone because whoever has access to these um, words ultimate has, ultimately has access to your account and to your funds. So I would even suggest choosing a 20 word um, mnemonic seed phrase to just make it a bit more secure or a bit harder to crack. Um, and then you can give, once you secured this somewhere and written it down, um, I usually write it on a piece of paper and put that in my safe, but how you store it, it's up to you. Just make sure it's, it's secure. And then you can continue and name it however you want to name it. I will just go with um, Cosmos account Kepler tutorial. Not the best name, but will be enough. And then you choose a strong password for it as well. Repeat the password and then hit next. I will stop the recording, redo this process so that you don't know my seed phrase. And then we will all right, once you have um, saved your mnemonic seed phrase, named your account properly and chose a password, you were asked to put these um, mnemonic seed phrase words in the correct order and then you were able to, to finalize the creation of your account. Now it's time to connect this account with your ledger. Um, you don't need to fund this account that you just created. I just did this for the purpose of another uh, tutorial, but you can leave this one empty. You don't need to found it, fund it because uh, you will use your Ledger account to fund it. It's really important that you have the Cosmos, the latest version of the Cosmos app installed on your Ledger device. You can do so via the Ledger Live app. But then if you want to connect it, just open up the browser extension and click this little icon up here and then click add account. This will open this window again, which we know from before. And now we click import ledger. Now you can give it um, a name. I think I'll just go with Cosmos ledger account. Can I not? Okay. Cosmos ledger account Kepler tutorial. Again, it's not the best name, but it's, it's good enough. If you click advanced, you can choose a different derivation path if you want. Um, but you can leave it as it is. This is just if you want to create more or derive more accounts from your ledger. Um, but for now, you can leave it as it is. And then you hit next. And then you're asked to plug in your ledger, unlock it and open the Cosmos app, which I did. And once you have done so, you can click next. Then usually your browser asks you if this for this connection do this and then it's waiting on your ledger 
All right, it's connected. You hit done. And then you can go back to the browser extension. Go back up here. And then you see your ledger account. It's empty right now, but now you have your successfully connected your ledger device to the to the Kepler browser extension and now it's time to to fund it so that you can actually stake something and for that just simply copy the address by clicking on it and then withdrawing to it from your exchange or wherever you have your atoms lying around. All right, once you have successfully funded your account, you can see your balance showing up here. You can see what you have available and you can see what you have staked. We haven't started the staking process, so there's nothing to show here. Um, but that really concludes the first part of your of our tutorial. So your Kepler um, account is now all set up and you are actually ready to start staking. So let's jump into part two of this tutorial. So to start the staking process, um, open up the Kepler browser extension and hit the stake button down here. Now this will open up the Kepler web wallet and an overview of all the validators that are active on the Cosmos network. And a cool initiative that got started by I think Dokia Capital is that you as a delegator have the power to actually contribute to the decentralization of the network, which makes it more secure and ultimately more valuable. And you can do so by spreading your stake. So maybe not um, delegating with the top validators, but maybe choosing someone out of the top 10, outside of the top 10. And I mean, you can do whatever you want. You're, you're free to, to delegate to whoever you want to delegate to. But keep in mind that spreading the stake supporting smaller valid validators outside the top 10 actually is healthy for for the network that being said it's really important that you always check out the validator you're delegating to so visit their website see if you can find information about their team and if they make a good impression to you um, because ultimately um, slashing is implemented in cosmos so you can actually end up losing funds if you choose the wrong validator I mean, I'm biased over here, so I have a clear favorite that I want to delegate with. So I'll look it up in this list and then I just hit manage. This will open up this um, pop up window where you can see some information about the validator. And then if you're sure that you want to choose or stake with this validator, you hit the delegate button. Then choose an amount of, of atoms you want to stake. And here it's important that you choose less than your available balance because you still have to, to have enough uh, atoms undelegated so that you can, can, that you can cover transaction fees. And once you have um, made up your mind of how much you want to stake, hit delegate. Um, then you can set your, your fees. I would suggest that you right now, you, that's the time you plug in your ledger, unlock it and open the Cosmos app. And then you can choose an amount of, of fees you want to, to use. Um, I'll just go with low set fee and then you can see okay it's a delegation transaction how much 4.5 to whom and this is the validator address if you want to double check to be really sure you can visit your validators homepage. for us you can find the our validator address on the cosmos sub page so visit stakingfacilities.com slash cosmos and then you can find our validator address here and then you can double check the first and the last few digits, 1x88j, b3p seems right. And then you can, it actually asks you to also uh, verify this on your ledger. This is the most important important part because you're actually signing on your ledger. You can also check the, the, the validator address on your ledger by clicking through it with the, those buttons. And then once you're sure that that's the correct one, you can approve open up the extension again and now it will will take a while for it to load and there you have it now you can see your balance changed a little bit and you have less available 4.5 is staked now with uh, staking facilities or the validator of your choice and you are now officially a delegator on the cosmos 
uh, network you you actually contribute to its security for which you earn rewards so thank you for that and now it's time for part three of this tutorial where we go over some staking um, actions all right uh, so now that you have successfully staked your atoms it's time to talk about uh, some staking operations and the most important one is that you regularly claim your staking rewards so that you can then spend them or re-delegate them to your validator so that you uh, can actually leverage a compound effect. Um, to do so, you open up the Kepler browser extension again. And then here you can see the rewards that are ready to be claimed. And I mean, they're super low right now because it just started the process and claiming your rewards always incurs a transaction fee. Um, so it doesn't really make sense for me to claim them now. I will do so anyway for the sake of this tutorial. But maybe you shouldn't claim them every day, but maybe once a month or, or whenever you feel comfortable. Just make sure to do that semi-regularly so that you can actually leverage a compound effect if you want to. So hit claim. You can set a fee again. I'll go with low. And you can see the fees is 0 0.001 and I think my rewards were 0 0.0000 something. So I will actually um, spend more on fees that I get for getting rewards. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's go with that. You sit, hit set fee. And then on your ledger, it reads type withdraw reward. You see your validator address. You see the fee. And then you can approve this transaction. And now... Um, if you had a little bit more rewards um, than that I have here, it's, it's taking a little bit to update, you will see um, your available balance increase. Actually, f right now you probably won't see it because it's so little that it doesn't really affect this balance. But let's say you have one uh, atom um, pending, you will see the available amount increase. And then you can do, you can either send it to someone or um, actually stake that again and to do so you can reload the um, Kepler web wallet and now what's pretty cool in the validator list you can actually see the validator that you are staking with indicated with this um, purple dot here and then if you hit manage now you can hit delegate again and then um, stake your your rewards again i mean didn't really change anything for me because my rewards were so little but you can now choose to to increase your your staking amount if you do so make sure to leave um, funds unstaked so that you can cover transaction fees but what you can also do which are other staking operations is you can undelegate if you wish to stop your delegation and maybe you want to sell your atoms or, or transfer them somewhere else and then you can hit undelegate Choose the amount that you want to undelegate and then hit undeleg the undelegate button, confirm on your ledger, and then um, your funds are being undelegated. Here it's really important to note that undelegation, an undelegation will take, um, or it will take 21 days before your funds are liquid again. So once you undelegate it, 21 days later, your funds will be liquid and you can move them around. So if you want to, to sell your atoms, keep in mind that if they are staked, you have to wait 21 days after you undelegated for them to become liquid. What you can also do if you're, if you're not happy with your validator, you can choose redelegate, select another validator that you um, like better, choose one and then hit the redelegate button. Process is the same as with the other uh, transactions. Um, you pick a fee and then you confirm everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's staking on on the Cosmos network with the Kepler tools and a ledger device. It's a pretty straightforward, easy process. The team over at Kepler did a great job. Highly appreciate it. Thanks for that. And thank you for thanks to you for watching this video and contributing to the security of the Cosmos network. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Shoot us an email or join our Telegram. We love to help you out. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next tutorial.